Finally, after many, many months of delay, Amazon delivered a box today, and here it is. It is the PC Engine Core Graphics Mini, and today, uh, in the Retro Shed, we will be taking a look at this. That's the original one. That's the unopened box. I'm just waiting for my glamorous assistant, Josh, to get down here, and we'll take a look at this beautiful thing. Oh, here he is. Good evening. Good evening, Josh. Have you got tea with you? I've got some chicken and a smoothie. Some what? Chicken and a smoothie. Nice. Should we get on with it? Right, so finally, um, this has been delayed by quite a few months, actually. I think it was supposed to arrive February, March. Mm. Do you know? I can't no. remember. I think it's February, March. I need to order one. Yeah, no, I pre-ordered it ages and ages ago when it first came out. Um, it is, of course, the Mini PC Engine, and there has been many, 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 many consoles released over the past two years or so, but I think this one was very, very eagerly awaited for a number of reasons. And the reason um, I think this was so eagerly awaited because it was a console that we didn't really have. Uh, here's the original. Um, this console was never officially launched in the UK, so many of us people in Britain as kids really really wanted to get their hands on one of these and mm. never did so why you know where it's got the symbol of the games and the age rating it's yeah. 12 it's a picture of a fist which is violence yes it's a picture of a spider which is fear yes a picture of languages is language obviously what's that something to do with sexuality oh suitable for boys and girls is it warning you that it's transgender no it's what it, what it's saying is i think the game is suitable for boys and girls so while Josh is opening the box, um, I'll tell you a bit about the uh, the machine. Uh, the PC Engine was originally released in 1987, I believe, in Japan, and it was an amalgamation of companies Hudson Soft and NEC. Brilliant machine, really, really powerful for its time. He's opened the box, I'll shut up, let's have a look. Nice. So, did you just drop that on your foot? No. no. Right, so we've got the obligatory instructions. instruction manual. What else we got in here? Got some packaging. I'm guessing this is a controller. Yes. Look. Controller. Oh, now hang on a minute. I'm gonna find the original. How, uh, I think down here somewhere. Don't look. There. How does it compare? Is it the same size? Yes. Okay, it's the same size. Similar button layout. Just different design. Yeah. What's the build quality like? How does that feel compared to the original? Does your original feel better? This feels more clicky. Okay, let's have a look. A random feel. Ooh, that's right. That's that's proper high quality, you know. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. So there's the original controller. There's the new one. And to be fair, I mean that feels a bit spongy because it's like thirty odd years old. Yes. But the, <laughs> That feels really, really nice. What connector have we got on the end of that controller? Uh, USB. USB. Okay, USB can compared to the original proprietary mini DIN. Whatever that means. And we have the power cable uh, and the box itself. I'll get its bigger brother nearby to have a look at. Nice. Okay, so let's put them side by side. Let's have a look. Is it a mini? Is it mini? Yeah, it is. It's smaller, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's smaller by about, I'd say, just under an inch. Yeah. So obviously there's no slot. For what? Because you don't slot anything. You don't slot any cards into it. Oh, it's built in, yeah. It's got dual USB ports where the original has got the mini DIN. It's got the on and off switch. It looks nice, though, isn't it? Can you open that? It says external bus on the back. What's on the back there? Can you open that back slot? And the HDMI cable, which is nice of them. But is there a power supply? 
So you remove the panel on the back, we have HDMI out and DC power, in. which is exactly like all the other little mini consoles on the market. So it feels very light, doesn't it? Yeah. wonder what's in there. There's no so power have a look on the underneath, there. is there any screws on it? On, off. Yeah. Have a look. Where's the power? Mm. Is there power. a power adapter? No power adapter with it? No. No? I hate that. I think that's cheap. Wait, how'd you power it? Well, you'll plug it into like a phone charger or something like that. The power button's just there, it just goes... Yeah. And on the original one, a little thing slots out to keep the card in place. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Well, there, there, go, go, there goes the controllers, there's the HDMI, yeah. and to power it, there's a phone charger. Yeah. That's what, literally, you can use a phone charger or any kind of 5 volt, I would have thought, mm. controller. Right, let's get this powered up and see what it does. Right, so we plugged in, the controller actually has a decent length lead, it's about 2 metres long, so unlike the Nintendo uh, mini consoles, you can sit quite far back from your telly with this one. It's got a really decent length bit of cable on it. Uh, one thing that I have noticed, the, to plug it in at the rear here, you have to take off this flap. And unlike the Nintendo ones, it's not attached. So I'm just wondering how long it'll take for that flap to go missing. Walkies. Not good. They could have attached that solidly so that it hinged up. I fact, do you really need it at all? I'd say you don't even need it at all, do you? See that? It says berry moss. <laughs> it's a picture of an eagle. I don't know why it's a picture. And it, says, and it says the retro shed. It does. It says enter password and there's a Nintendo control. Move your arm! Right, we're finally uh, connected up. Josh has been taking random bits of footage, which I will put some of it on the end in case you're interested in his movie making mm -hmm. skills. So, on first boot, what have we got? Language. Go for it, Josh. Hang on a minute. Why is English in blue? Is that interpreting that you, normally you should be English? It might be. I don't know. That's racist. Right, so after you've chosen your language, you've got a menu system. Let's have a quick flick through. What have we got? Parasol Stars, nice. Splatterhouse, fabulous game. Space Harriet, yeah. That's it, let's go through them. Ninja Spirit, yeah, played that. Utopia, I don't know about that. Victory Run's good. R-Type, Power Golf, Motor Racer. Uh, Dean wanted to know if it had Toilet Boy on here. I've not seen Toilet Bowl. Is that all the way through? Yep. So how many games is that? So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 games. Yes, boys. Yes, we have. So, oh, you can select different consoles. So this button down here selects uh, between... Oh, right, okay, so you've got core graphics into... Right, I understand it now, so it is, there's more games on the other menu. Oh. Excellent, because I think I saw Gradius. There's some good games here. Let's have a look through these. Oh, look at that, isn't that just beautiful? Oh, look at that, that's even more beautiful, Salamander. Nice. So there's a lot of japanese -y type games here. Gradius 2. Fabulous. No updates either, no 16 gig data packs. What a refreshing change. Let's not go there, I got quite annoyed yesterday. Right, let's have a look in the settings, what we got. User manual, language, display settings, always interesting. Uh, what have we got? What does that do? Oh, she resolution. Okay, so that gives you, looks like it goes to full screen mode. That one goes to half, that one goes to full, the one after there. So that goes to widescreen, yeah, that goes to full which screen. is not right, because these games were never designed to be widescreen. Oh, and that gives you the Turbo Express, which is the handheld version. I like that. Mm. Let's go to that. Uh, CRT filter. Definitely want a CRT filter. Run. So you've got different screen display modes, and you've got a CRT filter, which, of course, is just what we want. So let's go back. Wallpaper. Put that. So that's proper 80s, that is, isn't it? Change the wallpaper. Yeah. Menu design. Okay. That one. No, not that one. That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the original. Nice. Move into menu. Um, it doesn't look, Josh, like you can change that awful music. Damn it. <laughs> so we're stuck with this music. Right, I think Josh should have a go. I am. Josh is going to play R Type on the mini PC engine. I am dog at R-type, 
Not our shines. Oh, look at that. Nice. Go on then, press the run button. Oh god. Literally, I'll be in school, right? And I'll just sit here playing on the PC using an emulator. What, aren't I? Yeah. And everyone's like, what are you playing? I'm like, oh, type like, it looks trash. I'm proud of you, kid. I, f I always find emulators at school. It's shite. Oh, did you die? Yeah. I must have missed that. Yeah. Glad you did, to be honest. It's kind of embarrassing. Boom. Come here. Not bad, kid. Not bad. Yeah, but see, the kids at school wouldn't understand your interest in emulators. Yeah, I'm always the one that unblocks everything for everyone. Now, the CRT filter looks nice. Wait, is it meant to be on the front? Yeah, you can put it anywhere you like. Put it in front or the back. Ow. Launch it and then put it behind you. Ah! Get get in front of it. Come here. And dock Go. it. Oh, dear. <laughs> you told me to get in front of it! Oh, no. Why am I back here? Right, all these guys, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So obviously you can expand the uh, the yeah. game to be 16x9 or 4x3. I'm going to keep it natural on 4x3 because that's how they originally were designed. I think it's wrong to go put away. them in 16x9, but you know. Go away. Oh, weirdo, go away. I'm so glad they included this. Really? Yeah. Come here. Thank you. Go away. Go away. Oh my god, well done. Mate, I'm a pro gamer. <laughs> you might want that in front of you. Ah, shot! You told me to put it behind me! I said you can put it behind you. Let's choose a different game. Press start and run. Return to menu, yes. Pick another game. Uh, hang on. Are you changing consoles? I like that effect. That's quite a neat effect. Is it going to be Gradius? Oh, good choice, kid. I like that. I like that little animation. Mm. The little putting into the card. That's good. This feels really fast. Good lad. You have a good teacher, I see. Come on. Oh, look at it. I mean, isn't it... Oh, yeah, I oh. went the wrong direction. Now... Yes. Do I have a look at okay, it? And another one, another one. Yes. Careful, don't fly into the floor. I'm not stupid. Oh, that looks really nice. Do I have a look? It sounds nice and it looks nice. And it plays nice, doesn't it? Mm. The rock. Oh my god, how'd you get away with that? Because I'm a pro gamer. Oh shit. Why didn't it go to option? Access because you hit it on laser. No, I got one and it went to... What? No, you didn't. You hit it on laser. Oh, I saw you. bloody hell. Well, that's your fault. Jesus Christ. Don't blame the game. God. Come here. Thank you. Nicely done. Come here. Right, you need one more for another option. Yes, boys. Go. Uh, oh. I nearly missed it. <laughs> I nearly missed it. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Come here. We don't talk about that. Come here. One more for another option. Yes, boys. Lasers are so Oh my, oh my god. god! Go. <laughs> lasers are sick. Okay, do don't mean? don't go for that. Don't go for that. Lasers are sick. What do you mean? Look at this. Look at that. Mate, you could just sit up here and just spray. You yeah. can't. You'll get hit. You're hit by the boulders. Wait, go how do I go up? Right to the very top. Like, like no, don't go anymore. That's it. Stay there. Tuck yourself back just a little bit. Bit more. That's it. Stay. But my things are in the But you place. will need to dodge. You will need to dodge. Be oh, careful. Shit. Careful, careful. The one that comes up really fast and straight is the one that always gets me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That one. Yeah. That one. Shite. Another game. Try Salamander. I want to see what Salamander looks like. Yeah. Let's see what this looks like. Oh god, I wanted one of these so much when I was 15 years old. I remember seeing it in Computer and Video Games magazine. I thought, that is stunning. Why can't I have one? Because they never sold it in the UK officially. Bionic Germ. Oh, it's got no speech. It's not bad, though. Oh god. <laughs> it's so fast. Oh 
god, what are these things? Bionic gems. Oh yes. <laughs> you know what? I sometimes come across these when I'm walking to school. How much do you need to shoot to kill these boogers? Come here. Give me that. There we go. Oh, I need to shoot them in the orange thing. Oh. What are these things? Okay, go away. You are, you're looking really sus. Go away. The sensitivity is too high. Is it? Mm. I blame it on sensitivity. Right, I'm a pro gamer now. You died straight away. Shut up. Bionic gem. Right, let's see if I can get all the weaponry. Oh, look at you, you little bum sweat. Oh, look at you try harding. You're such a tryhard. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. What is a tryhard? Oh, you, you, you say you're a gamer, but you don't know classic gaming expressions. It's not a classic gaming expression. You don't know what a tryhard is. Someone is just like. If someone is good. Really hard, yeah. It speaks for itself. <laughs> Why are you trying so hard? Oh my god. How many missiles do you have? Unlimited. Yeah, and you tell me this now? I thought you knew. I, I don't know. I'm a modern gamer. I don't play these games. You know this. Can you blow those things up? These? No. Yes. Yeah. No? No, you have to stay the <gasps> hell away from them. Mate, that thing just shanked you. I just survived <laughs> that. How did you survive that? He just shift you. How did you survive that? I don't know. It, it looked went, to me like it, it flew straight through ship. it. Yeah. You're flying into them! What? Mate, the game loves you and it hates me. <laughs> you have to put your... <laughs> anyway, let's choose another game. I don't like Kung Fu games, maybe Rage Quit. Let's try. I already know this game's gonna make me want to throw it across the room. Why? I can just tell. I want someone to. F I want to fight. Go away. Yeet. <laughs> Wait, can you? Man, these guys are trash. But you guys, you guys can't do anything. Wait. Can you please tell me you can kick down? Oh, you can push down. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Ah, creepy flies. Nice. Come here. Boom. This game's easy, bro. You're attacking rogue robed figures. This game's easy. I'm attacking nuns, mate. Ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. Oh my god, rocks. Boom. <laughs> ah, I don't think you're ready for this. Are you ready? 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 I don't think you're ready. Oh, oh, oh. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Ah! What is this thing? Come Packing here. a cigarette in it. Boom! Let me punch them! Ah! Okay then, my game. I just got coconuts thrown in my head. No, that one, yeah. I don't know what it is. Play it. What is this? I don't know, play it. Oh, it's a CD-ROM game. Meaning? Nice. What does that mean? Uh, more advanced games for the PC Engine, but you needed the CD-ROM add-on for it, which is a really collectible ah. bit of kit. So some games were launched on card, oh. and some released on CD. Oh. Back in the day. Oh. Ooh, this, ooh. Ooh. this looks nice. Who should we be? The strange Japanese character, the strange Japanese character, the strange Japanese character, or the strange Japanese character? How about the strange Japanese character? Okay. How'd you fire like that? Nice! Oh, I do love a shoot em up. <laughs> oh, this is good, this is good, I like this. I told you you'd like it. <laughs> I was like, play this, play this, and you're like, no. Oh, look, they almost look like polygons. Well, that's a bit unfair. Ooh. Whoa! 
You're not taking any damage. Okay, because those guns were unfair. <laughs> oh, oh, you just got absolutely destroyed. I did. I think that was unfair. This console is superb for um, shoot 'em ups. Yo, you're being shot oh. up by the Death Star. God, there's some big sprites in this console, isn't there? Mm. You're being shot up by the Death Star. That is really good. I need to spend some time on this. I've never played this. You're welcome. This is tough. I like it though. You're welcome. What else is on here? The next oh, go on, go on, Josh. Show us how to play Gallagher. Right, but I absolutely smashed you at this last time. <laughs> yeah, I'm not arguing. Love it. I want that as my rig tone. That's gonna be the most annoying ringtone. <laughs> oh god, I know. I prefer your Game of Thrones ringtone to be honest. Yeah. How do you get customizable ringtones? Uh, I can't remember. Is it on the App Store? Yeah, I think so. What else can you get? I don't know. You have to have a look. Shite. That's Gallagher. Eighty-eight. I'm, I'm sick of Gallagher. What do you mean? It is good. Respawn. Thank you. <laughs> and it didn't cost you 5,000. What do you mean? To respawn. What's that from? Call of Duty. It's 4,500. Oh, is it? I thought it was 5,000. Oh, yeah. $4,500. It's bloody expensive, you know. So if you just die off the bat, mate, it's about 4,500. What the big thick dude? Ah, <laughs> uh, big thick dude, go! Oh, this kid's annoying. Come on, finish him. Go away! So he's got his what? Whoa, this kid is. Hold on. Yes, pick Boys. it up. Let's have a look. What else have we got? Super Darius, Super Star Soldier. Now I don't know if I've played this. Let's have a look at this. Oh, hang on. Is this this, this the, the game we played in? Your, this in is the game room? we were playing upstairs ages ago, and you got the high score, and then I beat your high score. No, it's not. It's slightly but not different. not by playing it's like slightly that. Slightly different. It's slightly different. Yeah, that was Star Soldier. I think this is Super Star Soldier. Ah. God, that's fast, isn't it? Come here. Come here. Because that's not fair. It's no, well, how have you been? Because that's fair. You have the most overpowered weapons. Oh, you scuppered now. I don't think that's as good a weapon. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, okay. okay. That's no good. What a useless. What do you mean? That's useless. What is it? It just. Oh, I don't like that. You look sick. It's Wait. a flamethrower. Why would you have a flamethrower on the front of a spaceship? It looks sick. Who wouldn't want them? Oh, that looks <laughs> sick. Nah, mate, that's sick. Right, let's go back to the TurboGrafx-16. Splatterhouse. You play Splatterhouse. Splatterhouse is a great game. Uh, got it on the Mega Drive. It's very, very good. Pick up, pick up the bar. Pick up the bar. Pick up the bar. Wait, that's a bar? Now I don't think the music's as good as the Mega Drive version, but graphically it looks the same. Yo, are you good? He's just thrown up, isn't he? Ah, give me that. Are you good? Why oh, you can't hit him? <laughs> Yeet! How's that? I do like Splatterhouse. Oh, what you weird birds? They're bats, aren't they? Oh, you can hit them. Well done. Nice. 
Corona. What's your spikes? Ah! You're not supposed to walk into the mate. spikes. Right, I just punched a bat. What do you mean? What? <laughs> dead. Come at me. Come on, do it properly. Boom. Bam. Punch the bats. Yeet. Don't let the spikes get you. I don't know where they are. Then. <gasps> ah! Mate, reactions to the sentry. Go away. Oh, Go they, away. they can walk through the spikes. You can't. What? You're not very good at this, are you? Ah, shut up. <laughs> oh, you can do that. Nice. Ah. Mate, what's in there? It's, I don't know. It's just a rough bit of mud you walk over, I think. Go away. Ah, creepy dude, creepy dude, creepy dude, creepy dude, creepy dudes, creepy dudes. <gasps> what the? What the? Their brains come off. Nice. Aha! Come here! Come here! What the? Yo, what are these? What the? What are these? How are you supposed to survive that? You're not very good at this, are you? How are you supposed to survive that? Mate, watch this. I'm about to clap these kids. Ready, ready, ready. <gasps> Boom! You, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, Josh, you're better than come this. On, come on. Come on. Yes, mate, you guys are whack. What? Oh, shit. Sure it's mate. an honour to have such a pro gamer in the room with me. Move, you weirdo! Move, move. Well, you're doing alright, actually, although you've only died. You've died once, haven't you? Come here. You guys are weird. Yeah, well done. Yeah, you here guys, comes the big dude, I you think. You guys are nothing. Oh. <gasps> you, you're weird. Did he get you? Yes, mate. Pro gamer. <laughs> you guys ain't nothing. Hey, you do be look. This kid's For those of you who've been watching us from the beginning, look back at episode one to see how much Josh <laughs> has evolved his gaming. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> what do you mean? Jump that. Oh. I just did! <laughs> Go away, you weirdo. Jump it, Josh. Jump it. <sighs> Pick What's that this? up. What's that? It's a spanner. Boom. Oh. So yeah. you, you drop the pole to you pick up a spanner, spanner and you can use it once. That's rubbish. Hey, you, you're looking sus. <laughs> <gasps> How has this man got himself into this situation in the first place? That's a very good question, actually. I'll look that one up. Does anyone know how the guy from Splatterhouse got himself in this situation? Answers on a postcard, please. Oh! I fell down a hole. It's alright. Give me the bar. Oh. Give, give me the bar. Yes. Got the bar. What is it? Okay. That's a bit creepy. Come here. You guys ain't nothing. It's not going to be this easy for long. You guys ain't no You're dead. Let's look at one more game. Let's look at... Blazing Lasers. No, we've looked at a few shoot 'em ups, haven't we? Let's look at Victory Run. Now, Victory Run was one that was reviewed in June 1987, Computer and Video Games, and Tony Takushi said the sprites on this thing are huge. Oh, it's manual gears, okay. Now, for a console to display graphics like this back in 1987 was unheard of. Really? Yeah. They're big sprites. And it slings them around quite easily. Whoa. Why does everybody else's vehicles look bigger than mine? Oh, look at you in a racing car. You think? Yeah. Well, there was a car. The motorbikes are even bigger than me. <laughs> Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps it's a room. Look at the size of that motorbike compared to me. Mate, hey, you're Lightning McQueen. My God. And you're in Paris. Nice. Perhaps it's a remote control car. Yep, yeah, the motorbikes are bigger than me as well. That's unreal. The music's very jaunty, isn't it? I love games like that that just make out that cars just can't can't go, go on grass. grass. Yeah, I know, can't. I know. I always used to think that as a kid. I used to think, they wow, just can't go on grass. driving across grass is a bit like going across nails. The car just can't move at all. But actually, do you know what? All that would happen is you'd lose a bit of grip. <laughs> if you grew up playing games like this, when you get a car in the future, you're going to be like, I can't go on the grass. It'll get me stuck. 
It's not quick enough. Oh look, the sky changes colour. I like that. That's pretty. Wait, it's oh, bright red. that wasn't fair. Get off the grass. Cars just can't drive on grass. No, this one can't. The music makes me I feel all like. Forza. Well, yeah, I think it's a bit of an unfair comparison. This and Forza, don't you? Oh mate, you just oh got mate, your I just flipped it completely. Yo, you're in a Porsche 911. Nah, that's just like going to the shops in Mum's car. That she drives like that. Bad. What do you think, Josh? Do you well, like, <laughs> do you like it? It was good. It is good. It's pretty tense. Yeah, some of the games are tense, aren't they? Mm. So this is the, uh, the the. Oh, there you go. There, you go. And there they are, side by side, brother and new, say it's story. and newling. What? Youngling. Brother and youngling. Um, it's really, really nice. Master really Skywalker. Nice. What are we going to do? <laughs> if you know, you know. Yeah, I really like it. It's small, it's got a decent cable USB link for the controller. The controller is really nice quality actually. Much better than I thought. Uh, apart from the silly flap that's going to go missing from the back very, very quickly, I think it's great. Time will tell uh, what we can do to it, whether we can hack it up and install stuff on it. I would have thought so because we have with all the other mini... Um... Will you start spinning around? Jesus Christ. Right, nice little bit of kit. Shall we take a look inside and see what is under the hood? Yeah, I think so. Right, I pulled it apart. Here's what is under there. So you've got the top half of the case. You've got a little piece of metal with a heat thermal transfer pad on it. Uh, and here's the main board. So there's not a lot on this at all. Off and on switch. What else? I'm not sure what that is. So there you go, that's that's what's in there. There's not a lot in there at all. I'm not sure what these chips are without going and looking them up. Um, but there you have it. Not a lot in there at all. So that was our rather chaotic look at the PC Engine Core Graphics Mini. And I hope you enjoyed that. And it was a bit um, chaotic because I've got the boy in the shed with me and he's very distracting. But <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day, it's really nice. Go and get one. If you've always wanted uh, a mini, if you've always wanted a PC Engine, sorry, not a mini one, go and get this. Um, it'll fill that gap in your life where you've always wanted one of these from back in the 80s. Thank you very much for watching. I think we better go. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, the kid has lost it. Thanks for watching you lot. Well, uh, we'll catch you again soon in the retro shed. You want some chicken? That's not chicken. It is. That's not chicken. It says 91% seasoned chicken breast. Fridge re Oh my god, Josh, the chicken has never been within 300 miles of that stuff. Yeah, it, it, it hasn't. It that's, has. that's not chicken. It doesn't Nine even smell like chicken. Yes, it does. Oh, that's disgusting. 91% chicken breast. That's a lie. On the front it says 100% seasoned chicken oh, breast. That stuff will give you cancer. I'm not eating that.